Today's topic is trichoriasis. Trichoriasis, also known as whipworm infection, is a parasitic infection of the human large intestine caused by trichorous trichuria. The human large intestine is made up of the rectum, the colon, and the cecum. People affected by whipworm can suffer mild or severe infections. Children are more vulnerable because of their exposure risk. They often play outdoors and might not wash their hands thoroughly before eating. Children with severe infection can suffer serious gastrointestinal problems and retarded physical development. Trichurid parasites are found worldwide but are most endemic in tropical and subtropical regions of the world and areas with poor hygiene and sanitation. In 2015, about 464 cases of trichoriasis were reported. Proper cooking of food and washing of hand before cooking can prevent the infection. Causes An infection is caused by ingesting the eggs of the whipworm. This can happen when hands with contaminated soil are put in the mouth, or when vegetables or fruits that have been contaminated with infected soil is consumed without thorough cooking, washing, or peeling. The eggs get in the soil when an infected person defecates outside and when untreated feces are used as fertilizers. After ingestion, the eggs hatch in the small intestine and release larvae. The larvae mature and establish themselves as an adult in the large intestine. The lifespan of the adult is about one year. Symptoms The symptoms may be mild or severe. A mild infection may be characterized by nervousness, irritability, abdominal swelling, vomiting, a headache, insomnia. Heavy or severe infections are characterized by painful or frequent defecation, bloody diarrhea, unexpected weight loss, abdominal pain, tiredness or weakness, rectal prolapse, dehydration, inflammatory damage to the intestines of the host, poor physical development, especially in children, nutritional deficiencies. Vitamin A deficiency may also be as a result of the infection. The infection may sometimes lead to death. Diagnosis and treatment. The diagnosis is based on a feces test. A lab test of your feces will be required to check for the presence of whipworm or whipworm eggs in your intestines and feces. Treatment. The most common and effective method of treatment is using antiparasitic medications. This kind of medication neutralizes whipworms and its egg in the body. The medication is usually taken for a period of three days. Once the symptoms reduce, the doctor may be required to carry out a feces test to be sure the infection is gone. People with diarrhea may be treated with loperamide. Rectal prolapse may be solved by injecting iron to the bloodstream. To prevent a recurrent case of the infection, you should put up proper measures. This may include thorough washing of hand before handling food, thorough cooking, washing, and peeling of fruits and vegetables before eating. If your child was infected, let him or her know the importance of washing hands after playing outdoors. Avoid contact with soil contaminated with feces. Boil or purify contaminated water before drinking. In high-risk areas, proper and effective sewage disposal should be installed. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.